Outer Range. <laughs> Outer Range is classified as a drama, mystery, thriller starring everyone's favorite cyborg, population killer, and southerner, Josh Brolin. The kids call this docking. Is there a knife in my dick? There's a knife in your dick, yeah. Where's the back up now? Yeah, yeah. I don't need to go full yentl. I normally only review horror on this channel, but I also like to include thrillers, just a different branch from the same tree. However, if I were to rank in order what's the focus tone of this show, from the most to least, it would be drama, then mystery, and unfortunately in last place is thriller. I'll still review the whole thing and try to be as fair as possible, but I'll make it a shorter review because this show just really isn't up my alley when it comes to entertainment. Ah, that's better. But let's get into the show with minimal spoilers. In episode one, a lot happens, and it may be one of the best episodes in the whole season. We get introduced to the whole family, the Grandpa Royal, played by Josh Brolin, Grandma Cecilia, played by one of our favorite Conjuring stars, Lily Taylor, older son Perry and his daughter Amy, who looks like Dakota Fanning, and younger son and bull rider Rhett. They are the Abbott family who have a long history of cattle ranching. They have some dick-rich neighbors called the Tillersons who are pushing to expand their land into the Abbott family's territory. Most of the drama in this show revolves around these two families, Rhett's high school crush coming back into his life, and the local sheriff trying to solve some crimes and make sense of the mystery part of the show. The mystery part of the show focuses on Autumn, the hippie that camps in the Abbott property who seems to know a lot more than she lets on, played by Imogen Potts from nobody's favorite Black Christmas movie. Just because we're taking our rightful place behind them doesn't mean that we are needed. <laughs> The massive hole on the Abbott's property, the unknown mineral attached to it, a murder that is the core drive of most of the actors for most of the season, and Perry's wife who has been missing for a hot minute. The thriller part of the show... Um, I agreed an ambition makes several people do quite drastic things that I guess would be considered thrilling. Going into the positives and negatives, Royal and Cecilia are great, which is not surprising considering they are good seasoned actors. Rhett's relationship with his high school crush is sweet and it kind of reminds you of Colton Abbey's relationship from the ranch. Just not as funny. Oh, I guess that makes you the hypochondriac. <laughs> hypocrite. It's hypocrite. Okay, I can make up words too. <laughs> The Tillersons are all played well, but one of the sons, Billy, has a lot of humorous moments and is a big singer, but I couldn't really tell if he was a good singer or if he sucked. Just call me Angel of the Morning, Angel. Please, can you quit it? Autumn's character starts off as mysterious and interesting, but when shit flips on her, she turns into a psycho bitch, and I really thought they should have kept her as an ominous kind of character. There are some nice payoffs and twists in the show that keep your interest, but thinking back, I can only really remember two that really stuck out. So unfortunately, the plot wasn't nearly as mysterious as it could have been. They only bring this up twice, but the show mentions the Greek titan Kronos, and it really doesn't seem to fit with the show. Maybe if the show was more like American Gods or something, but this is not that kind of show. Unless it's going to be a big part of the theme or the plot. Keep ancient mythology out of it. Overall, I'd say this is an alright show, 7 out of 10. If you like family dramas with a bit more mystery or intrigue in it, this show is right up your alley. Now I'm going into spoilers, and I'll be brief as well with this. So Royal is supposed to be from the 1800s and then pops up in the late 1960s. I know he's a rancher and doesn't do a whole lot of government work, but even so, just existing as an adult in the US requires a lot of paperwork. How did he get a birth certificate, social security, license, etc? He jumped through time when he was a kid, which is a pretty helpless part of your life. Some of family adopting you can only solve so many of your problems. And speaking of, let's talk about the time travel. It is insanely inconsistent. So when Royal gets pushed into the hole, he jumps forward at least two years and sees the mining of his land. Then when he jumps back, only a few hours have passed. But Royal, by the way, Royal is a cool ass name. 
Royal says he jumped into the hole when he was a kid and he crawled out in a hundred years past. So why was it such a different time jump? When he touches the liquid time material, he has visions of a near future, but he fully jumped in as a kid and as an adult, and the results are drastically different. The whole opening and closing randomly doesn't make a whole lot of sense. It seems like the show is trying to make time a mineral that you can mine, so like more practical. But it also has elements of mystical, which makes it hard to pinpoint what this stuff does and how you could actually use it. Autumn being a future vision of Amy was a very intriguing way to end the season, but it begs the question, how the hell is she there? Also, why? So far you can only go forward in time, and Royal was able to go backwards when he jumped back into the same hole he came out of. Is she trying to go back in time to be a head honcho of the operation because she was like a nobody in the future? Why was she so confused about the symbol she sees in her visions when it clearly looks like the family brand? It also doesn't explain why she is fucking with her family so much. She literally tried to gun down her grandpa with her own hands. She even had this weird singing Tellerson almost kill him. She was also fucking with and manipulating her dad to turn on the rest of the family. Hopefully season 2 will break down how this young girl turned into a manipulative, narcissistic, self-family killer. Or it's just a dumb misdirect for cheap shock points. But hey, crazier things have happened. It also begs the question about being able to manipulate time and events. Is time linear in the show or are there different timelines created because time can be manipulated? These are the kinds of questions that have to be answered if you input time travel in your story. There's nothing wrong with mystery, but things have to make sense on some level. Thanks for watching, and don't worry, next time, I will keep it spooky.